I used to hate myself that I was too serious about everything. I was about to give up. Actually, I gave up already. On you mean acting? Acting. After I read the script, I was like, damn. <laughs> damn, bro. <laughs> I want to get this role. Outside of work, what are you like? I'm not a funny guy, mm -hmm. you know? And that's okay. What the hell mm -hmm. did I do? I was not so happy at all. Mm -hmm. I might face some pain again, mm -hmm. but I felt like this is what I want to do. Yeah. He uh, turned to me, he was about to cry, and then he hugged me and he said like, I'm so proud of you. You deserve it. And I was like... This is Cognity Featuring. My name is Vic and welcome to the show. So, our guest today is such a cool guy, very talented, has done so many things in the media and show biz uh, field. He's been acting, directing, uh, singing, DJing, what else? Hosting shows. Yeah, so he's done so many things and very well too. And today we're going to be talking to get to know him more. And recently, a Thai movie in which he stars in the leading role was selected to screen at Busan International Film Festival. And I can tell he couldn't be more excited and prouder of himself. And he's sitting with me today. Let's go talk to him. At Awat, สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Yay! Thank you for coming to KND. Thank you for having me too. I'm uh, so excited now. <laughs> you look so sharp in your suit today. Yeah, they told me to dress properly. <laughs> <laughs> properly? Yeah, yeah it's, it's very um, smart and yeah, yeah, you look great in it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wish I read like group. Okay, so how are you? I heard you just came back from... Berlin. Yes, so yeah. I'm still tired. Mm -hmm. from jet lag a little jet lag stuff. still yeah. mm -hmm. but what did you do in berlin so i went there to study photography mm -hmm. for three months yeah and uh and i just want to live my life aboard i just want to ah. experience a new chapter yeah that i have never done before in my life right so i decided to take this opportunity mm -hmm. to explore new things for me. Yeah, and you get to spend three months, three right, months, in yes. Berlin. In Berlin. So how, how was it? It was amazing. Mm -hmm. I met a very good professor and I learned a lot from the, the class. I met a very good classmate. And I think what I like about the course is that I learned how to process about the way to narrate photography or something like that. Mm -hmm. It gave me a new aspect and also new horizons of cool. thinking about yeah. photography. I see. That you can do such a meaningful thing mm. by photography. And for me, I do photography as a kind of hob as a hobby, mm -hmm. you know, like a meditation or something like that. Yeah. But now I feel like I want to do a serious project as a documentary photography mm -hmm. after I wow. finished uh, this class. Yeah. Cool. It sounds so cool. And I bet you had a lot of fun yes, studying there. Yeah. And what else did you do besides going to classes in, in Berlin? In Berlin? Yeah. So I went there like in August, since August. Mm -hmm. So it was still like summer. So mostly I always go to the park. Ah. Uh, maybe sometime I... Uh, go to the concert mm -hmm. and uh, and luckily I had some friends there mm -hmm. so there were so many like art exhibitions mm -hmm. you know museums so I mm -hmm. did enjoy a lot of art stuff yeah and um, and also like exploring the city mm -hmm. and I think that's what Berlin is known for too like for being an artistic city for like yeah. artsy people, right? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Like Berlin is very artistic uh, city, and I think the city is very nice, mm -hmm. very safe, yeah. And uh, people are open-minded. Mm -hmm. So 
they are like I would say that it's a mixed cultural oh, city yeah, yeah. that you can meet people from all over the mm, world. Very international. Very international, and you don't have to speak German only, mm. but you can survive because most of the people can speak English. Right. And that is very good because mm. uh, I feel like I can practice my English every day. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of uh, traveling, actually, you're not a stranger to the standard at all because you hosted a show yes. called Relation Trip for yeah. the Standard Pop, right? Yes. Yeah. How, how was the experience? It was amazing. Yeah. I really liked the team, you know. I mm. feel like we we traveled together for too many places for like uh, maybe eight trips together. Yeah. And I had so much fun because I I did many things that I have never thought I would done in my life. Mm. And, um, and I met a lot of interesting people. I made a lot of new friends. Mm. And, um, and I feel like, you know, being with the team was a good time for me because I felt like when I travel with someone, normally I, I need to be comfortable But with the standard team, mm. I felt so comfortable mm -hmm. and safe. You know, yeah. we don't. I don't feel like uh, we just like a worker, mm. but we can share some stuff. We can mm. share some some uh, serious stuff also. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, they treat me like a non ordinary people, not like a celebrity or someone that is famous. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm seeking for that kind of standard. In a way, when I when I work with someone, right, especially in Thailand, you know, mm. that people always know me as a what, but with the standard team, you know, I always tell them that okay, I'm an easygoing guy, yeah. So, you know, whatever you want me to do, just ask me and mm -hmm. tell me, you know, I'm easygoing. Yeah. And I think it's 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 a good experience for me, and mm -hmm. I still meet them. I yeah. hope that. We will have another season. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We sure hope that too. I think my favorite episode is the trip that I went to PP Islands because I first it was my first time in PP Island and uh, I did a lot of uh, many activities I like, which is mm -hmm. which are like scuba diving mm -hmm. and uh, chilling by the beach. <laughs> and also, what I liked the most about that trip was I met. Some friends randomly, you know, unexpectedly, mm. Mm. and now the day I still get in touch with them. Ah, that's so nice! Like yeah, like making friends uh, on your journey or on your trip. Yeah, and uh, they happen to turn out into uh, they turn into your real friends in life. Yeah, that you can still like hang out with or like yeah, yeah. and like they just text me like uh, not long ago mm. that they will visit, they will visit Thailand again, mm. and they. And we will meet again. Ah. So I will tell like the team also if they remember them, and yeah. uh, maybe we can hang out together. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. All right, but of course, uh, we have known you from 10 years ago when you first appear on mm -hmm. uh, a super popular show on TV, Hormones, the series. Yeah, it was yeah. a long time ago. A long time, 10 years ago to be exact, yeah. like 20, uh, 2013 if I remember correctly. And uh, so from, from today, looking back at yeah. that young actor, what do you think about him? I think he is still the same in the sense that he loved to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And he is so ambitious about everything he do, mm -hmm. he does. So basically, I feel that this guy is still inside me mm -hmm. in a way. But also some part of him mm -hmm. has has gone already. Mm -hmm. I think like um, when he was at that age, he suffered a lot. I would say for like a, a teenager who was like yeah. 16, mm -hmm. uh, knowing what he want to do, but he couldn't achieve it at that time. Mm. So I would say that it was suffering moment for that guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I felt at the time he was facing a lot of difficulty in his personal life, mm. family stuff, but he didn't dare to tell anyone oh. or he didn't even had a close friend to mm -hmm. speak about mm -hmm. a serious stuff. 
Mm-hmm. So he kept a lot with himself. Mm-hmm. Inside. Inside. Bottled up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. He was struggling for sure. He was struggling as a teenager or as a working actor of at course. the time. And I think like people didn't realize mm-hmm. what he was facing mm-hmm. and going through. Mm-hmm. And I think, um, yeah, I would say that if I can talk to him right now, mm-hmm. I would say that you know you should speak it out sometime. Yeah. You mm-hmm. shouldn't keep everything to yourself. Mm-hmm. It's better to share. Mm-hmm. Your hard time and what you've been through to someone that you can trust. Mm-hmm. But I also understand him at a time. You know that yeah. mm-hmm. it's not easy to find someone that you can trust because mm-hmm. you, yeah, it's it's not easy. Mm-hmm. And 10 years later, is yeah. that boy who is like a young man right now? Yeah, better at talking it out to mm-hmm. someone what he's feeling inside. Yes, definitely. Okay. Ah, I would say that. That guy has changed a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's me now. <laughs> yeah, I have changed a lot, and uh, I feel like now today, after I've been through a lot of difficult situation in my life, in many aspects, and I feel like I dare to speak more mm-hmm. to many people, mm-hmm. but I know mm-hmm. who I will speak with. Yeah, and what story I can talk mm-hmm. to. To whom? Mm-hmm. So I think I learned a lot from these experiences about disappointment, about getting rejections, about uh, being betrayed by people I love, or yeah, about losing someone I love. So it's a lot of journey that I I experience, and I think. It made me who I am today. That mm-hmm. I'm, I'm quite calm and grounded, and I see things in a realistic way. Mm-hmm. That I don't want to be overwhelmed about all the situation, but I just want to be real, right, with everything, with yeah. everyone. Mm-hmm. And um, but I don't want to show off, you know. I don't want to just go to the people and say like who I am, or. But I just want when I meet someone and I feel like okay, we can be friends or we can have some good connections. I'm gonna be so real. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I think I I think that keep me better in a way to live in in this world now today. Mm-hmm. That I don't have to be fake, and I don't like someone to be fake to me. Yeah. And I feel like I don't have, I don't have to have many friends, or many people in life. But I just need a quality people in my life. Mm-hmm. And I know that okay, I used to chase a lot of relationships, a lot of friends, you know. And then I feel like if they are real, if they are true friends, you know, you mm-hmm. don't have to try. Mm-hmm. But I think. When you learn from that experience, just use it as a a force for good, and uh, be true to yourself, mm-hmm. and appreciate and take care of your feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say that you've done a great job growing, and yeah. <laughs> well, it, it sounds to me like a it could be a very painful experience, and yet at the same time beautiful and meaningful, so, and yeah. I think that's what counts. I think yeah, yeah, that's what counts. Yeah, it's, it's important to experience all these things. Yeah, I think right? so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't regret you know to have to have such uh, an experiences because I feel like um, being painful is can be beautiful in a way. Yeah, you can turn it into a beautiful stuff, a beautiful experiences when you grow up, and then uh, you can use it for. Artistic work, I don't know. Yeah, especially in your line of work. Yeah, that that could be helpful and that could come in handy yeah. when you have to like uh, portray a role. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, acting in a role. Yeah, you can you can use all of all of that that you have experience. Yes, and yeah, use it in your work. Definitely, yeah, it's very good for artistic work. I think. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about Joy Boy. If you have a job to do, one has to give money. Do you understand? สนใจครับพี่
จริงๆผมก็ทำหลายงานเลยพี่จิทั้งก่อสร้างทั้งเด็กเสิร์ฟ which is something that we are so excited about at the moment so it will start streaming pretty soon pretty soon yeah and uh, we can watch it on Netflix of course on Netflix yeah talk to me about uh, how you get the role because I have heard that you will be like uh, I would kill for the role because it's so It is. It is so me, and I won't let anybody has it happen. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be me. I have to be s o n Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you do to to get this role? Basically, like uh, before they contacted me to go for an audition, mm. I was about to give up. Actually, I gave up already. On you mean acting? Acting. Really? You know, I've been suffering a lot, and uh, and I feel like enough is enough for me. Mm-hmm. I I try so many times and then I fail so many times, mm. and I think like realistically, you should think about the career that can make you feel concrete and uh, sustainable in a way. Yeah, and uh, and I feel like at that time acting, being an actor, cannot give that sense to me anymore. So I turn to do something else, and uh, you know I just made a decision that I. I would give up, okay. and then they contacted me, mm. and I knew that okay at that time p e o p l e the directors, and I read out a script, and I was like, oh my god! After I read the script, I was like, damn, <laughs> damn, bro, <laughs> I want to get this role, you know. Yeah. And when I was reading, I always had pictures of myself portraying Son, mm-hmm. and I felt like, oh my god, Son. You know, I think we share some core and some, some vision, and some emotion mm-hmm. already. So that's why, like when I before I went for the casting, I always like manifest that. Mm-hmm. Since then, that okay, mm-hmm. I want to get this role. Right. And then you know, before the casting, I prepare everything. Mm-hmm. How I, do you prepare for the role? I just work with the dialogue, and the script that I got. Mm-hmm. I didn't act for a while before the casting. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you know, I just work on the paper, mm. the script that I got. Yeah. You know, just to did what I used to do as mm-hmm. always. Mm-hmm. And then you know, I I feel like I prepare myself very well. Mm. I would say. And then I just went for the audition, and I just did my best. Mm-hmm. And I just told them that okay, you know, I really want to get this role. I almost gave up, but if you select me to play this role. I will give you more than 100%. Mm. Whatever you want me to do, mm. I will do it. I know this role mm. require a lot of effort, mm. and I'm willing to do it. Yeah, mm. life is funny that way, isn't it? It's yeah. Like when you decided to like quit, yeah, it won't let you. Like, yeah. ah, come on, come on, just yeah. give it another try. Yeah. I'm gonna give Again. you this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how you do. Yeah, right. That that is so cool. So did you go through all this? I mean, the character of Song is so far away from from who from, you are, yeah. right? Yes. What what he does, who he is, um, so he's um, like basically illegal immigrant. Immigrant, yes. And a sex worker. Mm-hmm. How um, how do you get into that character? How do you know how would those people feel? Or so basically, what I know that Song is. Uh, A Chan, you know, like Chan immigrants, who came uh, across the border to work illegally as sex worker in in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I would say that portraying these characters, there were a lot of challenges mm. because first you have to act as Chan people, so I had to learn how to speak Chan language, and also like I had to learn. How to speak Thai in Chan way? Chan way. <laughs> so it was so difficult. Yeah. And I felt like it was a challenge for me from the beginning mm. to connect to this character because we have too much different background and you know we come from different society. But what I did is what I did was to research. So I did a lot of research. I read a lot about Chan people. Mm-hmm. I watch a lot of videos mm. to get to know these people, mm. and I also like did a research to go to the bar, the real uh, bar. 
So you talk to the real people yeah. in that world. In that world. So you know where they're coming from. Yeah, of mm. course. I know that I come from a different different background from them, but for me to portray these characters, I should know all the angles, all the aspect, and then when I become someone, mm. I should take all of the thing I know behind me. You know, mm. I should throw it back. Yeah. And uh, but it's good to know because finally, like, when you know it, you can you have to learn how to cut it also. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, I think we had a, a strong connection mm. with the characters, mm. with us with Son, and uh, and I feel like when I when I was him, I felt so chill. I felt so naive, mm -hmm. but in a way. There was myself behind him, mm -hmm. telling him that you deserve better, son. Mm -hmm. You don't for, don't don't mm -hmm. give up. You know, mm -hmm. life is unfair in a way. Yeah. But you know, I'm 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 here to support you. You know, oh. so it's something like this. It's just like I have like my, in, I I have like, in this vision in my imagination. Right. Every time I I I I become him. Wow. So yeah, it's it's so weird, but. But I really like that moment to yeah. connect to the characters. It's very interesting. It's not just that you have to be him, but you kind of have to be his friend yeah. in his body, like different yeah. people, but in the same body and, yeah. and connect with him in in a certain way. Yeah. Wow. So it's just like I embody him and I feel like, you know, I know this is a lot. Mm. It is song. Mm -hmm. And it's just like we... I don't know. It's it's so hard to def to describe this. Right. But I feel like me and him was like this all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. We were together, mm -hmm. and I think at that time I it was the moment that I really like because I think I absorbed some of the sense that he had, right. but I didn't have it. So I was so lively at that time, mm -hmm. lively than my uh, usual life. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like myself mm -hmm. at that moment in a way. Even though it's so different from yeah. who you are. Yeah. But that's a fun part of acting, I guess. Right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what are you like when you work? Like, what, what is your work ethics? If mm -hmm. I go and ask people who have worked with you, mm -hmm. what would they say? Like, what is art like uh, on the set? What would they say, you, you, do you think? I think like um, they would say that I I was responsible. I was well prepared. Mm -hmm. I was so ready every time. Mm -hmm. I know that I I had to be on set. And I think like uh, everyone know that I am an ambitious guy. Mm -hmm. I give like more than one hundred percent. Yeah, all the job I do. Very determined. Very determined. Very dedicated. Yeah. So I think everyone feel that and they really believe in, in me mm -hmm. and I got a lot of support from them because I th I think like we support each other in a way because I love to work with people mm -hmm. who know who know what they have to do mm -hmm. who are passionate about that job mm -hmm. and I think with Doi Boy teams we all are passionate about our job mm -hmm. and everyone did their job very well mm -hmm. So I think like every department, you know, mm. they did their job very well. Mm. And I was so safe and comfortable to be in front of the cameras. Mm. And I was so lady all the time mm -hmm. to be son. Mm. Like I, I thought it would be harder, mm -hmm. but actually it was yeah. so easy for me. That is so cool. Like to be surrounded by yeah. people of like mind yeah. or like have the same kind of work ethics and yeah yeah we are into this together we're yeah, in this together yeah. we are a team yeah we are a team wow i yeah. think you're so lucky to to have the opportunity of of working with such people yeah i think so i think yeah. i was so lucky to mm -hmm. get this opportunity because mm -hmm. i think it's it's huge for me mm -hmm. i would say that i is gave me another life mm -hmm. as an actor ah. Okay. I would say that this yeah. film, thanks to people and yeah. directors, the director, Nila Mitnang and everyone, yeah. you know, who's finally like selected me to be mm -hmm. someone. Yeah, it's meant a lot to me. Yeah, 
And something tells me that this time around is going to be different, and it's going to be a lot better for you, like second life. As, Possibly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm back now. Like, yeah, <laughs> actor. Yeah. Well, this is the first time we met in in real life, right? In person, yeah. And uh, of of course, I have seen you on um, the show or on um, like things that you have act in before or mm-hmm. on like your interview and. Like everybody else, I think we can tell that you are giving out like serious vibe. Like you're like so serious with life. Do you have any other part um, of yours, like outside of work? What are you like? Do you have like a silly side or something that we have no idea about? Or this is like uh, like this all the time. I don't know. This is a hard question. You know, when I think about that, mm. do I do some chill thing, or <laughs> do am I always chill? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I'm quite a serious guy. Like yeah, most of the time. Mm-hmm. But I think like something that I that make me feel like more relaxed mm-hmm. maybe when I drink wine. Oh. <laughs> Of course, and, yeah, that um, would help, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, and meet some friends, mm-hmm. and also like when I do yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too serious, you know. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But the the reason I'm asking uh, this question is is not that I want to blame you for being serious know, because know, yeah. this is how a, a person is, and uh, you have all the right to yeah. be who you are. But what surprised me a little is that when I met you in person for the first time today, I don't, I don't think you're a serious guy in terms of like the like um, toxic or unhealthy kind mm-hmm. of serious. Mm-hmm. I think you look like comfortable being you, and I think that's the best. Yeah, I just realized this not long ago mm-hmm. that it's okay because sometimes I feel like um, I used to hate myself. Mm-hmm. That I was too serious about everything, right? And I felt like I was a black energy mm. when I surrounded by a lot of people, mm. and I really hate that feelings. Mm-hmm. And and I realized not long ago that this is who I am. Yeah, I'm serious, but of course I don't think about people in a bad way. Mm-hmm. I don't do shitty thing to them. Yeah, I do respect people. Yeah, but I'm not a funny guy, mm-hmm. you know, and that's okay. And I still have a good heart, and I always think positively with people. Yeah, and um, and this is who I am, and I had I just have to embrace and accept mm. it. Yeah, and I just I would say that I can do it like. Recently, you know, uh, and well, of course, we don't always need a funny friend. Yeah, yeah, but I think you are very pleasant to be with, and then that that means a lot more yeah. to to a relationship or to f- friendship in general. Yeah, people yeah. always like uh, I really like talking to you like for hours for like to yeah. have a deep talk with because right. um, I feel comfortable talking to you because yeah. you can share like some. Interesting mm-hmm. part of you. Mm-hmm. You are a good listener, mm-hmm. and also, you always sincere mm-hmm. with the people you're you're talking with. Yeah, and that's a good thing. That's a good I thing. Think that's a good thing. But are, are you happen to be an introvert? I am introvert. Think? Super introvert. Yeah, me too. So that's that's how <laughs> I know that. Yeah, we are not a party animal. No, we are not, all. not for all for like a small talk, but mm. we do enjoy deep talk. Yes, a meaningful conversation with people. Don't have to be always funny. Yeah, yeah. Me too. This yeah, is, yeah. This is so cool. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just I just want to point this out because uh, there's a is is kind of like stigma. For mm-hmm. people who are too serious or like introvert, sometimes that okay, if you want to stay in this business or if you want to be successful in life, you yeah. have to surround yourself with like tons of people. You have to be super fun all the time, like go 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 energy. But maybe that doesn't work for a lot of people, and and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, 
I know I suffer from this a lot mm. because like people around me, you know, they said like you should socialize more mm. to get the opportunity, mm. you know, blah 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 blah. Yeah. And I used to try, and I was like, oh my god, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's I so was, draining, like yeah, at parties. It's drained a lot of my <laughs> energies, yeah. and I was like, I came back home, and I was like, mm. what the hell mm -hmm. did I do? Mm. I was not so happy at all. Mm -hmm. And I found out that actually there are so many ways that you can reach to that goal mm. without trying to be someone else oh, and yeah. doing something that you don't feel comfortable. Mm. Maybe it's, it might be harder, but there's still a way yeah. to do so. Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing that I always learn and I always keep that in mind yeah. that I don't want to change to mm -hmm. be someone else. Yeah. to get the thing I want. Mm -hmm. I want to get that thing because who I am. Mm -hmm. And I should be proud of who I am. Mm -hmm. And if people know me, that I'm I'm like this. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm like this. Yeah. So, I, I don't know, like pretending to be someone, one day you're going to be tired. Mm. And uh, and it's not sustainable in a way, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emotionally. You can keep faking forever. Yeah. Just to please people. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. I, you know, when I was younger, I thought that maybe it could be a, a, a good way to succeed in the career to yeah. do that. Because a lot of people told me that maybe you should do this, you should do that. But I, I couldn't do that. Mm. I couldn't be fake mm. all the time mm. just mm. to get the opportunity, you know? Yeah. yeah. I want people to see me as me. Mm. And if they want to work with me, mm. it's because of my talent mm. and uh, and my identity, you know? Yeah. Amen to that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel you, bro. I really feel you. <laughs> okay. Let's come back to Doi Boy a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Or a lot. <laughs> so I want to know, the first time you see the whole movie on screen, how did you feel? I was so emotional. Mm. I cried. I bet. You know, after watching the film for the first time in the screen, PA, my fellow actors, yeah. he uh, turned to me and he was about to cry and then he <laughs> hugged me and he said like, I'm so proud of you. Uh -huh. You deserve it. Uh -huh. And I was like, I cry because, you know, like I appreciate this kind from the people mm -hmm. who truly work with me mm -hmm. and who know how hard my life has been, what I've been through and, you know, because we we are so close to each other, I share yeah. a lot of stuff to him. Mm -hmm. So he's like uh, my brother in a way that I can talk like, uh, I can have a deep talk with. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I told him a lot about acting because he really loved to be an actor also. Mm -hmm. And he just told me one thing that, you know, I'm so happy for you that finally mm -hmm. you are on the right theme, mm -hmm. the right time. Mm -hmm. And finally, I, I'm so happy that you will be discovered as a good actor. Mm -hmm. And you know, this word was like, oh my God, mm -hmm. it's meant a lot to me. It was so yeah. touched. Mm -hmm. I was moved by this Kai word a mm -hmm. lot. And when I saw like, um, the team reaction after the film or even like after watching the film and some of the team and some of the staff you know they came to talk to me and they said a very kind message to me like uh, you know I I was so happy that son mm. was you ah and um, if I if we selected someone else mm -hmm. it wouldn't have been like this mm. or the movie might not have been here in Busan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and you know like this word made me feel so happy. Yeah. And many people like told me that don't forget to say to yourself that I'm proud of myself, you know? Don't forget mm -hmm. this. Because sometimes I feel like I'm I'm not confident. Um I have already been uh, afraid of that of being judged by others. And um, and finally, like this word just gave me more confidence, you know? Mm -hmm. 
I feel like I gained my confidence back mm. after after playing song in Doi Boy and mm. after the film was screened in in Busan and I met many uh, good people and I would say that I like myself better after I I went to Busan and I bet that means the most when we feel like ah. Oh, I really like who I am right now, or yeah. I really like where I am right now. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that would give you such a great energy. Yes. In life, yeah. So now that you're back into acting, mm-hmm. I, I'm sure you would pursue more and more about mm-hmm. acting. And I was curious to know, like, what else do you want to do besides acting? Ooh. You went to. Um, Berlin mm-hmm. to take uh, classes yeah. for photography. Do you want to do more of that too? Of course, yes. Mm. First, I would say that my main focus is acting, but now I, I have a dream, and it's my sound like super dreamy. So um, I want to be an actor, but not just in Thailand, mm. but I want to be an international actor. I mm-hmm. want to work in a global scale. Mm-hmm. I want to work with international mm-hmm. film industry mm-hmm. or f- international film directors. Mm-hmm. So that's one of my goal. That I know that okay. From now on, I have to improve a lot of my English, mm-hmm. and I have to prepare mm-hmm. for this new journey, which I know that is gonna be harder. It's I might face some pain again, mm-hmm. but I feel like this is what I want to do. Yeah. It just reboots my, my confidence and um, my passion about this career. Mm-hmm. And also, like uh, besides of acting, I would like to organize my own photography exhibition. Ah, okay. So I'm working on it. Yeah. I finished some of my uh, assignments already, but mm. I feel like I, I'm developing. The yeah. ideas and the concept. Yeah, and I think this is one of my goal that yeah. I want to do it. Uh, those two sound a lot like an achievable dream to me, and I'm sure you can do it. I totally see it. You on a global scale in terms of uh, acting career and your own exhibition. Oh, yeah. I I don't think it's too <laughs> far fetched at all, and I wish you all all the best. Thank you. I'm so sure you much. can do it. Thank you so much. All right, it's mean a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, let's play a little game. Okay. Okay, uh, it's called "Do you believe?" Do you believe? All right. So you just say yes or no and tell me why. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number one, do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you had a love at first sight before? Yes. Wow. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. How how did that go? Um, you know, I feel like I believe in the energy of people. Mm-hmm. That when we meet someone mm. and we have a a good chemistry, mm-hmm. it might create a very strong connections and feelings for this person. Mm. And I used to have that experience that you know, I met this person. Mm. And one of a sudden, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I was upset. Mm-hmm. And finally, we gotta be together. You know. Yeah. Uh huh. So I believe in that. Wow. Cool. It's so unbelievable. It might sound like unbelievable, but I would say for me, it's it's real. Mm-hmm. So what are you like in a relationship? What kind of what kind of boyfriend are you? I would say that I am sensitive. Caring, mm-hmm. respectful, mm-hmm. very detailed. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I would love to do like some little stuff. Mm-hmm. If I know that they like something, yeah. you know, it doesn't have to be a special occasion. Right. But if I just pass by mm-hmm. or come close this, you mm-hmm. know, I might just buy something yeah. they like. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And. I think I would say I'm a romantic person. Oh as yeah, well. I was about to say that. That sounds a lot like a romantic type. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love to like you know do some little uh-huh. stuff. Yeah. When I travel, I like uh-huh. to 
take a, take a photos, uh-huh. send it, yeah. write some message, and oh. then send to them, oh, something man. like that. Super romantic. <laughs> yeah, uh, it sounds like a, a very desirable yeah. kind of boyfriend. Yeah, I, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number two. Do you believe in heaven and hell? Like place you go after you die? Mm, yes and no. I don't mm-hmm. know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, you can answer that. That you're not sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. All right. Do you believe that money can buy happiness? Yes, and no. Mm-hmm. I would say that yes. If you mm-hmm. money can buy you many things and mm-hmm. it can make you happy, but. In a way, if you don't happy with yourself, money cannot help any. Uh, in a way, also money cannot fix that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a quick fix for you, but not in the long run. Yeah. Okay. So, what what kind of happiness do you use money to buy, for you yourself? Traveling. Traveling. For traveling. Yeah. Okay. And, And um, a good bottle of wine, maybe. <laughs> bottle of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So next, do you believe that we should never lie? No matter what. No. No. I think like sometimes we have to lie for some good for for a good reason. I think there are pros and cons about lying. Mm-hmm. That okay, if you are have good tension with this with the the people you love. Mm-hmm. So normally you shouldn't lie, of course, mm-hmm. ideally, but. For some aspect, you know, okay. it's better to lie because it can save their feelings or mm. to be in in another aspect. Okay. So, so on the flip side, is it okay for you to be lied to? Like people would say, "Oh, I lied to you because I I want to protect your feelings. I don't want." I think it depends on the story. Ah, okay. I would uh-huh. say that okay. I think no one likes to be lied by others, mm-hmm. but I think like it has to be in a spe- specific situation. Like, yeah, uh huh. You know, it's tricky. It's hard to tell. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. tricky. Yeah. Okay. Your question are, are tricky. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next, do you believe that the beauty standard would one day go away? I think yes. I think now the day is getting better. Yeah, and um, people are more informed in a way. Mm-hmm. And I think you can see that uh, the preference of people are more diverse. And I think one day, I and I hope that beauty standard will mm-hmm. not exist anymore, mm-hmm. and we all can. Just be us, as a human. You yeah, know? beautiful in our own way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next, do you believe that one day AI would rule the world? Maybe, but I feel like you, we still need a real humans to produce a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And I think like it's still like a controversial topic that yeah. people are talking about. Mm-hmm. If AI can. Can uh, rule the world or do some stuff that human can do, mm. but I feel like finally, as a human, we have some profoundness mm-hmm. that AI cannot repress mm-hmm. in terms of emotions or something deep down inside that we are more complex. Right. So you see it as a uh, more of a coexistence between human and AI. Of course, AI would play more and more and bigger role yeah. in the world, but not totally replace human. Yeah, I think That's so. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Last question: Do you believe in wearing lucky colors? s e e m o n o n t e No. No. Okay. I don't believe that. So you don't have your. I used to try, but yeah, it didn't work really out for didn't me. Work. <laughs> <laughs> ah, didn't work for me. It would mean it never exists. Yeah, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I've I've been having so much fun with with this conversation. Yeah. And me too. Yeah, I am glad that you stopped by today. And uh, still, I, I want to ask you something else. A little. Yeah. Sure. Um, any question that you secretly wish people asked you but nobody ever has. Like ah, oh, you you've gone to 
a lot of interviews, right? People yeah. ask you so many questions, but is there anything that you wish people ask you? And yeah, I would say that like people often see me as a strong person mm. with a strong opinion. Mm. So every time I go to an interview, yeah, they always ask me like a specific mm -hmm. questions about that topics, like hard questions, hard like. Question. Uh, What's your opinion on yeah, 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 yeah. all the hard but stuff? Sometimes I just feel like I just want them to ask me like just a simple question like how are you? Mm -hmm. Truly how are you? Mm -hmm. You know and look at my eye like yeah. you're caring you know uh. and it's just for me I just want to say like to be honest I'm not okay today mm -hmm. I'm depressed yeah. I'm sad right. you know I just want to feel like um, they don't treat me as A celebrity or you mm -hmm. know as someone who is famous mm -hmm. but you know I just feel like I just want to have a connection mm -hmm. with uh, with them as a human being mm -hmm. like we are uh, yeah fellows yeah. in this world you know like see me and talk to me like a person yeah kind of yeah and I just feel like sometimes I just need uh, I think like a simple questions yeah. uh, mean a lot yeah but And mm -hmm. of course, like uh, you know, it's up all. The, it's also about like your state of mind, and, yeah. you know. But mm -hmm. but maybe because um, I go there with a, I went there with a different uh, persona, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they they saw me as a, a, a what? Mm -hmm. So, um, but I would like to you know to like mm -hmm. uh, people to feel that I'm just a human, mm -hmm. like all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling. <coughs> A lot of stuff like mm -hmm. all of you and yeah. living in the society that we feel like a lot of just injustice happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want people to feel that being an actor, being a, an artist, being a celebrity is someone that is mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. or something like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I totally get this kind of vibe talking with you today. Like I'm. Not talking to a celebrity or an actor that is so far away from me to yeah. to to understand, but I totally feel like I'm talking to a person, and oh, I appreciate that. yeah, you're you're a very nice per nice person oh. to talk to. Yeah, Thank I have so, so much. much fun. All right, Thank so um, last question. Since our show is called k a m n i d i I would like to know if you have any favorite word uh, in. One English or and one in Thai. So I think my favorite word in English would be resilient. Resilient. Yeah. Okay. I think this word means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm able to be happy again after like failure or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a lot of it's a word that many people always. Say to me, always yeah. say to my face. You know yeah. that you are a so resilient person. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it means like coming back from coming back from bad moments yeah. in your life. Yeah. Bouncing back from like bad situation and yeah. be happy and be strong again. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's a it's a great word. Yeah. Yeah. And I how about it. Thai word? Do you have any? My favorite Thai words. I would say that I like, j a i d i Jai Di, yeah. Wow, what a great word choice! Like Jai Di is so simple, yeah, but it means a lot. But it means a lot, you know. And I always, when I talk to my friends, and I always share like, oh, today I, I met a very uh, good person, but k o n i Jai Di Ma, and it's like my favorite word because I really like k o n i Jai Di. I really like a kind person mm -hmm. who have a who are kind hearted in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I like that word too. Okay. So by the time this episode air, you can go and stream Doy Boy on Netflix. Any last word to those people who are still considering but not sure about streaming Doy Boy? What do you want to tell them? So I think I hope you will enjoy the film for sure. Mm -hmm. Even though you are not uh, into politics or. Something like this, mm -hmm. but I think this film is fun. I think it's not too hard to watch, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah, and I think you will 
learn more about Chan people, mm-hmm. about the life of immigrants, sex mm-hmm. worker, and um, and I think you can, you will be relate in some aspect for sure about mm-hmm. a person mm-hmm. who who might not be able to choose their their life, mm-hmm. and maybe it's like all of us in a mm-hmm. way that sometimes we cannot choose mm-hmm. and we have to accept mm-hmm. all right okay. so please go watch <laughs> Dark Boy on Netflix so now we are stream uh, around 190 countries all over the world mm-hmm. only on Netflix wow <laughs> all right thank you so much for coming thank I you really so enjoyed much our talk big. me too I appreciate it. it's so nice to talk to you same here yeah.